Hi, this is Scott. Welcome back to another Hollinger Team video blog. Uh, this one is the uh, second quarter or the first half of the 2019 year and have some interesting things to share with you for half of this, uh, this year gone by. Uh, first off, we had a, a pretty harsh winter, so it may have reflected in some of these numbers I want to share. Um, the first uh, first number that I'd like to share is the overall uh, number of sales for both residential and vacant land in Flathead and Lake County combined. There were a little over 4,600 closings so far in the first half of the year, compared with 4,900 um, last year. So uh, about a 7% uh, decrease in the number of transactions. So we'll see how the year ends up. If this is a sign of just a little bit of a slowdown, I don't think we're seeing the market turn around uh, because the sales prices that we're seeing come through are all actually uh, a little bit higher. So maybe that's part of it also. First on the waterfront report, we'll go to Flathead Lake, which has 100 active listings and eight pending sales. One of the interesting things on the active listings before I get into sales is, is um, 40 percent of all the currently active homes on the lake are uh, between 60,000 and a million dollars and I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, there's been 19 home sales so far this year on Flathead compared with 20 uh, last year so pretty close there. Interesting thing on the number on the sales this year 30 percent of those sales were under six hundred thousand dollars and 60 percent were over a million. So that 600,000 to a million active that I was talking about that accounts for 40% of the listings uh, only accounted for 10% of the sales. So we have a lot of people scrambling for things under 600,000 or a fair number of people. There's not much to choose from. So that's part of the reason why it's 30%. And then uh, the good news is, is uh, the over a million dollar price range, which has been very stagnant for a while, uh, has now started to see some some good life to it. On the vacant land side, there's 44 active, only one pending. Cabins typically in the past have been the competition to vacant land sales. We'll see how that evolves for the rest of the year. Uh, there were seven sales this year on vacant land and 11 last year. So those have dropped off. I'm not sure why, maybe just uh, cost of building or uh, people still hoping to buy cabins as an alternate choice to vacant land. On the condominium side, we have um, 40, I'm sorry, 53 active listings and six pending. So a fair number of pending sales that might boost the numbers uh, as the year uh, unfolds here. We only have 11 closings of condominiums on Flathead Lake this year as opposed to 15 last year. So if you look at those raw numbers, it's off by 30%. Still struggling on the higher end on condominium sales. The highest one so far this year is 480,000. Last year, um, the highest, well, it didn't break the 600,000 mark last year, but there were two, uh, at least in the $500,000 range. So kind of some interesting uh, dynamics shifting around there. We'll see if the condominiums get more active uh, in the second half of the year or if they are somehow being uh, displaced with other, other sales. Now on to Swan Lake. On Swan Lake, we have 10 homes currently on the market and one pending sale on the lake. Uh, that's a home on the uh, west shore of Swan, just under a million dollars. There's been three home sales so far this year on Swan compared with two last year. So pretty steady. I think we'll see some more sales come in because there's been quite a bit of showing activity on Swan Lake on homes. On the vacant land side, uh, there's 11 uh, active listings, uh, no pending sales and no sales so far this year on vacant land on Swan. Last year there were two, so um, maybe we'll see some people uh, come up and uh, purchase some, actually some really well-priced properties on Swan Lake sometime this year. Now on to Echo and Blaine, and we throw in Lake of the Woods also. 
on Blaine, Echo, and Lake, and Lake of the Woods. We've had some sales there, residential. Right now, there's 10 active listings, five on Blaine, four on Echo, and one on Lake of the Woods. Uh, the one pending sale is on Lake of the Woods, so that's kind of interesting that uh, it gets uh, more activity than the other two right now. Uh, the sales we had were three uh, so far this year, one on each lake, uh, Blaine, Echo, Lake of the Woods. Last year there were four, uh, two on Echo, one on Blaine, and one on Lake of the Woods. On the vacant land side, there's only two vacant properties for sale, one on Echo and one on Blaine. No pending sales. There's been one sale of vacant land so far this year, and that's over on Peterson Lake. And for those of you that don't know, Echo Lake has a waterway that connects to another lake called Abbott Lake, and then a waterway that leads from there on to um, Peterson. So you can boat uh, through to uh, all of those three lakes back and forth. Uh, last year, there were three vacant land sales, one on Blaine and two on Echo. So um, just kind of steady numbers, no huge trend one way or the other. Now on to Ashley Bidwit McGregor, west of Kalispell. On Ashley Bidwit McGregor, we have 18 active sales uh, for homes on those three lakes total. No pending sales right now. Uh, if we look at the sales so far this year, we have four, three on Bidroot, uh, one on Ashley, no home sales on McGregor, uh, compared with six last year where there were three on Ashley, two on Bidroot and one on McGregor. So a um, little bit of a slowdown there on the, um, yeah, the vacant land side. There's 13 uh, vacant land listings and there's uh, one pending sale on McGregor. So uh, McGregor has had kind of a dry spell of vacant land sales, but looks like maybe that might switch around. There haven't been any closed vacant land sales so far this year. Uh, last year, there were three, uh, one on Bidroot and two on Ashley and none, none on McGregor. So again, McGregor might be seeing a little bit of a turnaround. I was kind of curious and wanted to kind of give an overall number of, of how all that at waterfront sales activity turned out. And uh, it was it actually was kind of in, uh, of a surprise to me. Uh, the total number of residential uh, waterfront sales so far this year on on these lakes comes out to 40, uh, where last year uh, the total for the first half of the year was at 48. So we're off by a bit. Um, maybe it was just the long winter, and we'll see that catch up. I don't think we're seeing a turnaround in the market because we are seeing a lot of people looking, uh, and I think it's going to translate to some sales in the second half. On the vacant land side, uh, same kind of thing, um, a little more drastic than that. Eight sales so far this year compared to 19 from the year before. So, um, again, we'll just have to see how the second half of the year uh, turns out and uh, report to you third quarter, and we'll see how if that gap is closing. Thanks a lot for viewing the Hollinger team second quarter update for 2019. Appreciate you watching the good comments. Any questions that you'd like to have answered in a video, be happy to take that topic on and do some good research and share the information and knowledge with you.